Hi guys, my name's Tony. This is my Triumph Bobber. I've made a few videos already as a sort of review uh, and touched on a few points that some people have complained about with the Bobber, or not complained, but some people have made observations about the Bobber. So I've made a few videos already on them, so this video isn't going to contain much of that stuff. This is just is this bike suitable for tall riders? I think a lot of people are Googling that. I know I did when I seen this for sale. I was straight onto Google because I fell in love with the look of the bike. But I'm six foot five, almost six six. So immediately I thought I'm not going to fit on that bike because I don't fit on. I generally don't fit on. Uh, this isn't this isn't a typical 1200 cc bike. This is smaller than a typical 1200 cc bike, in my opinion. <clears throat> so, uh, I really didn't think I'd fit on it too well, because it's quite a new model. There's not much information out there, so it didn't come up with any answers for me when I was looking. There was no there was no real definite answers to whether I I would fit on it. So what I had to do is just go to the dealership and sit on it, and that's. That's how I found out, sort of, taking taking an afternoon off and going go to go and find out the old-fashioned way if you fit on a bike or not. Uh, so, is it suitable for a tall rider? Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out. If I bought the thing, it must fit me. And it does. As I say, I'm 6'5", 6'6". Uh, it fits fine. Straight out the showroom, stock totally stock settings it was all right it was it was good to ride it was comfortable uh i've adjusted it in a couple ways since then <coughs> excuse me i've done maybe i've just done over 500 kilometers on it so i've in that distance i've figured out what's comfortable what's not comfortable so the stock setting is all right it's good for a tall rider, you can ride it out of showroom, you can keep it stock if you like, and it's good for an hour, an hour and a half, or speaking from me personally, it was good for an hour, and an hour and a half ride, comfortable, after that I started getting numb bum, so that's when I started uh, tweaking, tweaking adjustments to see if I could get it better to eliminate that numb bum, but I've not been on a bike for 10 years, so I think that had a, uh, a strong bearing on why I was getting an unbum because I'm not used to sitting on motorbikes. Uh, but still, I, th I thought maybe I could get it more comfortable. And I think I have, I, the, the adjustments I made. So today, I'm going to show you how to adjust the seat, how to adjust the handlebars. I've got them, when I when I first got it and it was standard, it was, it was okay, but it was a little bit, I wouldn't say cramped, bugger off. So I thought, I thought I could do better. So I've, I've rotated the handlebars up and that, that helped uh, stretch me out a little bit. I got quite long arms and quite a long torso. So I rotated the handlebars forward, which that had the effect of lifting them up higher. And when you rotate them, cause the sort of the handlebars are set back a bit, there's a bend in them. When you rotate them forward, they go a little bit further away as well. So further away and further up. And that was better for me. And then I rode it like that. I, I thought that I've got the I've got the optimum position here. I never messed with the seat, but then I, because I didn't have the torx bit, so it takes a really big torx bit to adjust the seat. But I thought I'll adjust it to see what it's like I, it wasn't it wasn't uncomfortable as it was but i just thought i'll see i'll mess with it and i'll see if i can if what what happens so i i moved the seat to its furthest back position and it's and it and it's total well not totally but it's really transformed the seating position for me and and the feel of the bike it feels it feels more like a hard tail bike now because I'm I feel like I'm sitting lower in it handlebars are higher so I'm like 
it just it just feels like you're on a hard tail where the, the seat is very low. Previously I felt I was sitting more on the bike. Now I feel like I'm sitting more in the bike. And I just I just prefer it like this. I don't know if the seat has gone lower really, but it just feels like it. So I'm gonna sit on it. Remember I'm 6'5. If you're using the metric system, which most of the world does, I'm a about 197 centimeters, 196 to 197 centimeters tall. <clears throat> so this is the the position I've got it on now, and I think I feel like I'm sitting in a bike much more than I was previously. When the seat was all the way forward, and you can see the gap there, the seat was almost touching the fuel tank before I adjusted it. So that is. That's nearly three inches further back. Oh, what? What's that in centimetres? That's a good six or seven centimetres further back than it was stock. So that's made a big difference. Whereas I used to be sort of like this, almost sitting on the fuel tank and like that. Now I'm like that. And it, it's made a big difference. I, I, re I really like it. And it... I don't know if it's just sort of my brain, but I think it's uh, I get a bit better wind protection. I just feel like my shoulders and everything is a bit lower than it than it used to be. So I just don't. I feel like I'm not getting blasted from the wind so much as well, which is pretty nice side effect. So I'll show you how to adjust the seat. I had to get these, everybody's got a torque set, but normally they only go up to T45. A T45 will fit it, but it's a T50. The, the seat bolt's a T50, but if you've got a brand new T45 Torx bit, it will fit, but it will slip, and you risk, you know, chewing up the bolt. I got one of them undone with a T45, but it was it was loose, you know. It was uh, the torque bit. There was a bit of movement inside, so I know people have said it's a T. You can open it with a T45. I wouldn't recommend it. You risk chewing the chewing the bolt up or whatever. I I use a T50 just for for safety's sake. So the T. There's my torque set. Pretty heavy duty. Mine goes all the way from. T30 up to T60 and it's a it's a socket it's a, a socket set you need so I get the T the T50 and get your wrench socket wrench okay I'll get the camera off for this So it's that top bolt. Let me try and focus on that. That top bolt. I'm not going to do it while I'm holding the camera. This is just to emphasize. So that goes in there. And then, well, maybe I, maybe I can do it holding the camera. Yeah, got it. that take this one off well just just slacken it off you don't have to take it out yet so I'll slacken all of them off that one goes there put that put the camera down for that that's one I don't want to scratch the fuel tank if I slip so I'm just gonna take that off okay that one and then that one that's that so that's it just them three torx bolts one two three remove them
Okay, I've got to, I'll pause it now and uh, get the get the slack off. Okay, so take them bolts out and then the seat just slide straight out. Simple as that. There's the seat. So don't lose the bolts. Now in all the reviews and in the on the internet and stuff, it said the seat is adjustable upwards and downwards and backwards and forwards for the life of me i cannot find any upwards or downwards adjustment it's just it, the bolt just goes in there and secures the seat there's i there's just no adjustment to it that i can see so i don't think it is adjustable the angle is adjustable i think the only adjustment is forward and back which is all right and you know that's it does the job it's enough you can get enough positions, riding positions, just from moving it backwards and forwards. So I'm not too fussed about the up and down or the angle. I I, I really don't think that it's adjustable. If I'm wrong, then tell me in the comments. But so how to adjust it backwards and forwards? There's these two big bolts underneath, which is on a sort of slide. Let me tell you which size nuts they are. Seventeen mil. So they're seventeen mil. And I'll demonstrate how you do that. Okay, that's simple. Now the mechanism moves forward and back. It only goes up maybe just over an inch of movement. Yeah, maybe an inch and a half. But still, it's a good, it's a fair old bit of adjustment. So when it came stock, it was in the shorter setting so when the seat was in, it was a, around about there, that was the stock setting. And then I've slid the seat backwards, that all the way back as far as it can go. So that's how it is now. It doesn't sit that low when you tighten it up, it comes up a little bit. And that, that's it, that's as simple as as it is. So I'm going to retighten them all the way back. Perhaps you should talk them up, but I'm not one for talking things. I'm one for talking, but not talking bolts up. Okay, seat back in. That's that. And then put your bolts back in. Torx bolts. side
and that's that you tighten them back up and then you've you've adjusted the seat it literally takes five minutes maximum to adjust the seat you need a t50 and a 17 mil socket so that's that part two i'll do the handlebars hi guys welcome back so that's the seat adjustments i better tighten that up before i forget the battery just died on the camera that's why i said this was going to be two parts but we'll keep it to one part i'll just tighten these up Okay, that is the seat, all good, tightened, and back, moved back in its furthest position. So next is the handlebars. That is an Allen, an Allen set. Uh, but I'm not going to adjust them now, I'll show you how to do it. But it's in such a perfect position for me that I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to change the position. So, let's see. So it's these four, one, two, three, four. Just crack them off and then the handlebars will will rotate either way if you want to put them down or if you want to put them up uh, I, originally they were sort of about here this this low maybe that low i've i've moved them up really quite high i mean when you level a bike out they're, they're, they're pretty high in comparison to um the stock the stock setting Look, look how high they are. So when you're riding, yeah, my my arms are so level that in fact they're like they're ne nearly level. That's a bit crazy, but it's really comfortable. This is, in fact, I, I have to overstretch ever so slightly. I am quite a quite a tall guy. Even so, I'm still stretching. I've got everything set to the maximum position. So this is this bike is good for like seven footers. Uh, seriously, I'm six five, six six, and I, and uh, everything on the maximum setting. Even I'm stretching. So if you're like six seven, six eight, six nine, fear not, you will fit this bike. You just have to do a few adjustments, which literally take. You can do the handlebar adjustment and the seat adjustment together. In, in 10 minutes it really is that, that that quick and easy so yeah that's that's all there is to it and that's how tall people fit on triumph bobbers but as i say at the beginning of the video even in its stock form it's fine when i wrote when i went and bought it and rode it back from the dealership it was totally fine it was comfortable and I didn't think immediately this is uncomfortable I've got to change it that didn't enter my head until after two weeks I just thought I'm gonna make some slight adjustments it was that 
it was that kind of thing. It was not, it fitted like a glove in its stock formation. I've just sort of customized it for my style of, of riding and, and my, you know, just what I like. Everybody's different, you're different. You, you can tweak it however you want. Some tall riders might prefer the bars even closer to them and, and the seat as close as it can. Everybody's different. You just gotta play with it and, and get it to how you like it. It's, it's, it's fantastic for me now. I, it's really like, it feels like I'm on a hard tail and that suspension. It's quite a nice suspension. Sorry, the phone's ringing. It's quite a nice suspension. So it looks like a hard tail. You feel like you're on a hard tail, but you're not on a hard tail. It's the best of both worlds. And the suspension's, it's pretty good. You do feel the big bumps, but you know, what can you do? If you had like twin shocks on the back or something, it would be more comfortable. That that, that would totally ruin the look of the bobber. So I'm, I'm really happy with that suspension. It's uh, I know it's not really adjustable or anything like that, but it's good for, for what it is. And, and to keep that real smooth look and the hardtail look, it's a, it's a really good compromise. So well done Triumph. That is a, the, whole, the floating seat and that single monoshock. It's, 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 a, it's a work of art, it really is. Front suspension, pretty soft, but it's, it suits the style of the bike you know it's not that's that's what you want in a cruiser you want kind of soft suspension you don't want a hard uh, in my in my uh opinion the whole bike's just a bloody work of art hats off to triumph really they've 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 come up with a, an absolute gem of a motorbike i i've i wasn't really looking for a motorbike when i bought this my last bike was 10 years ago what was it I think my very last bike I had was a VFR 750. Before that, I had a CB 500, a GS 500E, uh, a couple of CBR 1000s. So I've had a lot of different bikes. Never, never really had a cruiser. This cruisers are new to me. A new bike is new to me. Never had new bikes before. And I just, I just love this thing. So you don't have to be into cruisers to love this. It's, yeah, it's, it's just awesome on every single level. I am so happy that, 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 I, that I bought this bike and you will too, whether you're five foot or seven foot five, you'll love it. So go for a test ride, uh, don't put too much stock into the test ride because again, that'll be the stock setting. You want to customize it a bit, rotate, rotate them up a couple inches, move the seat back a couple inches and it, and it really feels different. You know, it's, I, I, it, it's, it, it's almost like it's tailored try and tailored it to my my body shape now it's it's that it's that tuned in to to me uh, yeah it's it's cool so i'm going to stop talking now and uh yeah have a nice day bye bye